we now want to focus on dua Ayyub alayhi salam. What did Ayyub do? And what did Ayyub alayhi salam say when he was in the midst of his sickness and his illness? Ayyub alayhi salam. Some ulama mention up to 18 years he was bedridden. He was infected with some sort of disease. The entire town ran away from him. They feared that they might catch what he caught. All his children died, about 27, 28 of them. Allahu alam, he had many children. He lost all his wealth and his businesses. Uh, he felt every single inch of his body was in pain and severe sickness. He couldn't get up to go to the bathroom alone, so his wife was loyal to him and she remained with him and would carry him to go and come back. After so many years of sickness and pain, he made a dua. Allah Azza recorded it in the Quran. Can you imagine the life of Ayyub? How long did Ayyub live? But there is only one dua he made that Allah chose to make it part of the Quran. Because you know why? That's, that, that's all that concerns us in the life of Ayyub. Everything Ayyub went through, Allah Azza did not give us an entire complete history about Ayyub alayhi salam. Because what is relevant for you and I in terms of guidance is one dua he made. Listen, Allah Azza wa Jal said, وَأَيُّوبَ إِذْ نَادَى رَبَّهُ And remember and mention the story of when Ayyub called onto his Lord, Allahu Akbar. What did he say? أَنِّي مَسَّنِي الضُّرْ وَأَنْتَ أَرْحَمُ الرَّاحِمِينَ Allahu Akbar. This is what the sick should learn. This is the dua you're supposed to be making. He said, Rabbi, Rabbi. He said, my Lord. Yani he acknowledged Allah Azza wa Jal's lordship over him. Rabbi, you're my Lord. Whether I'm sinful, whether I'm obedient, whether I've disobeyed you and I've committed sins, in any case I am, I am, you are my Lord and I'm the servant. No doubt about it. So first, he acknowledged his servitude to Allah Azza wa Jal by saying, Rabbi, Masani al-Burr. Look at his manners with Allah. He said, my Lord, al-Burr, al-Burr, which is pain, pain, evil, uh, has masani, touched me. Pain has touched me. You know, when, when I say the word touch, mas, must touch, it implies something that is easy, something that is light. Ayyub alayhi salam, 18 years, bedridden. And he's saying to Allah, ah, I can just feel the pain. The pain is just touching me. Look at his manners with Allah. He did not say, oh, ya Allah, I can't do this anymore. Oosh. The pain, the pain, ya Rab, it's got to me. He said, Allah, it's just touched me, I can feel it. And then he said, وَأَنْتَ أَرْحَمُ الرَّاحِمِينَ And you, you Allah, are the most merciful. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. I, know, I want you to understand something. You know, you and I, when we sit and we're healthy, alhamdulillah, we're not being tested, no calamity yet in, in, our, in our health and that. Uh, we say, Allahu Arhamur Rahimin. Do you agree with me? Allahu Arhamur Rahimin. Allah is the most merciful. It's very easy for us to say it. But say, say, Allah is the most merciful when you have been sick for 18 years, cannot move from your bed. If you say Allah is the most merciful, in that position, you have achieved something huge in your life. And this is what Ayyub alayhi salam did. 18 years, maybe more, of sickness. And not one day he lost his hope or trust, or faith that Allah is the most merciful. He never ever doubted this one bit. Allahu Akbar. Rather, he acknowledged, even though I am experiencing all this pain, I acknowledge, Ya Allah, you are the most merciful. And I know that this pain that you have given me, O oh Allah, is from your mercy. I know that. This is Ayyub alayhi salam. 
He said these words. He did not even say, oh Allah, cure me. Because he doesn't know. Is being cured better for him now or isn't it? He doesn't know. So he, he avoided saying, oh Allah, give me shifa. Rather he said, oh Allah, I, I want you to know, and Allah knows, but I want to say it in words. I can feel the pain. Pain is touching me. And you're the most merciful, ya Allah. He did not complain. Only complaining, of course, to Allah with manners. He did not say, oh Allah, give me shifa. He doesn't know. Is shifa good for him or not? Is it? He doesn't know. Leave the matter. Allah knows what's good for me. After he made this dua, Allah Azza wa Jal, he said, فَاسْتَجَبْنَا لَهُ Immediately we answered his dua. فَكَشَفْنَا مَا بِهِ مِنْ ضُرْ And we removed his sickness and his illness. There's no such thing as chronic illness in the sight of Allah. There is no such thing of an illness that is not cured in the sight of Allah. Allah, my, he, in fact, his name is Ash-Shafi. That's his name, Ash-Shafi. His name is the one who cures, you know. Ash-Shafi, not ad dawa you know. ad dawa means medicine. Sometimes medicine works, sometimes it doesn't work. But Shifa, cure, cure, 100% of the time works. That's his name, Ash-Shafi. And Allah Azza wa Jalla, with the blink of an eye, all, all of a sudden, the sickness was removed from Ayyub. Allah, what? what happened? How did he get better? From Allah Azza wa Jalla. It came from Allah. Bas, don't ask how, where, when. It's Allah. Yeah, that's enough of an answer. Ah, wallahu ala kulli shayin qadir. Khalas, end of story. That's how the sickness was gone. Subhanallah. And Allah replaced all his losses for him. And then Allah said at the end of his story, Rahmatan minna. This is our mercy to him. Wa lil abideen. And this is a reminder for all of humanity. Meaning this story is not special and only for Ayyub. This dua is for everyone. And Allah Azza wa Jal could bring a miracle of recovery for anyone he wants at any time he wants. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar.